Well, we're going to kick off this coverage of the campaign season with the governor. Good to see you, Governor. Thanks you have a nice, for having uh, me. Father's Thank Day, yeah, everything good? Father's Day. I was yeah. with all three of my boys. Had my father-in-law over. Was able to talk to my dad. Oh, so nice. watched some golf and uh, really was a great day. Good that sounds like a here. perfect Father's <laughs> Day. <laughs> good some for you. And oh, oh, see, and yeah. the, you had some, some good charred meat. Good. So uh, why should you be our, our governor again? Why should we rehire you? Well, I think if you look where we were four years ago, we had a $1 billion deficit in our state's budget. Our economy was sluggish, and you look to where we are today, our economy is, is really growing. We've got 160,000 new private sector jobs here. 300 new companies have relocated to Arizona. We see the amount of people that are coming here for our quality of life and our economic attractiveness. We've been able to take that financial and economic expansion and put it into our schools to reward our teachers with pay raises. So there's a lot of positive things going on. We have a lot of momentum. We have a lot more to do. I want to see more school safety. I want to see safety at our border. And I want to see our economy continue to grow. There's no reason why we can't enjoy all of this and, and more. So this was the plan we put into place four years ago. I think you can see the results. It has not been perfect, but we're going in the right direction and there's a lot more work to do. Let's uh, go back to briefly, you just mentioned the teachers yes. and implementing uh, the pay increase. Do you think that you did enough for the teachers? Do you think you have the support of the teachers going forward? Well, I think there will always be more to do for our teachers. Our teachers deserve this raise and, and they've earned this raise. Of course, I'm going to reach out to everyone and ask for their, their help and support and for their vote. I'm a fan of the teachers. I'm the one that put that 20% pay increase in front of the legislature. They worked with us, Republicans and Democrats, to vote for it. So yes, I, I want to continue to work with them. But this isn't just it. I mean, K-12 education is the first line item in state uh, spending in our budget. That's why I talk a lot about our economy and the growth that we've had, because when we do have additional dollars, we have dollars available to invest in K-12, to focus on results inside the classroom. Arizona kids are improving faster in math and reading than any other kids in the nation. That's a testament to our public school teachers. Yet, they're one of their biggest unions has endorsed one of your Democratic opponents. Does that worry you going forward? And they said, get out in November. Remember in November. I don't know that unions speak for teachers. Uh, uh, teachers think for themselves. Teachers come from every, every background and political party. I think when teachers see the agenda that we have of an economy that's going to embrace entrepreneurs and small businesses with the dollars being reinvested in K-12 education, and it just wasn't the 20% pay increase. It was also Prop 123. It was the 20-year extension of Prop 301. It was the American Civics Act to have the focus of, of civility and, and, and founding principles in our K-12 education system. I think teachers can see that, one, I'm grateful to what they've done. I call out often the teachers that have affected my life. I think besides the parents in Arizona, no one makes a bigger difference in the future of our state than our public K-12 education teachers. we got a minute left. Going forward, if you get this job again, what do you see the next four years being? Well, I want to see our economy continue to grow, but I also want to see more focus on school safety. If I have a disappointment from these last four years, it's that we weren't able to do more. We have more dollars for counselors. We're able to improve the background checks. But I think of giving a tool to be proactive rather than reactive to a tragedy. We saw what happened in Parkland. We've seen what's happened in Kentucky and Texas. I want to be a state that leads on this to prevent and avoid mass tragedies inside of the state of Arizona. We can continue to focus on our border. Our border strike force is something that's been put into action, but I want to see 24-7 policing in the counties to aim at drug cartels and human traffickers. Okay. Good luck to you, Governor. Governor thank you very thank much. You very I appreciate much. it. Thank